new milestone in the field of science and it is great news for women and girls living in Kenya following the results of a randomized study that found a single dose human papilloma virus vaccine highly effective. The hopeful news seen as new energy in the push to eliminate cervical cancer. And as Raquel Mugai reports, cancer of the cervix, which forms the lower part of the uterus, is the leading cause of cancer-related deaths among women in Kenya, with data showing nine women die from cervical cancer in Kenya every day. For a country like Kenya, where cervical cancer is the second leading cause of death among women, the news of a highly effective single-dose shot of human papillomavirus vaccine is one that signifies a step in the right direction in the fight against the disease. I am so excited about this data. You have no idea. I can see us, if people would use the vaccine, safe, highly effective works. So which other disease do we know the cost? Because you must have HPV to get cervical cancer. We can diagnose early, screen, treat, prevent, and treat early. And now we have a vaccine that's over 95% effective. The results of the efficacy of the single-shot HPV vaccine were from a randomized trial that took place between December 2018 to June 2021, and one that saw 2,275 adolescent girls and young women aged 15 to 20 years old involved. We were given two types of vaccines. One we called the bivalent, so it was protective about against two types of the HPV virus. And the other one is what we call Gardasil, and it's protective against nine types of the HPV virus. So what the study showed, that the one that is protecting against two types of the HPV virus, it was 98% effective, and the other one was 89% effective. After somebody has gotten one dose or one shot, the HPV vaccine is not new, as Kenya rolled out the vaccine in 2019 amid myths and misconceptions around long-term side effects. Currently, women above the age of 18 in Kenya get a three-dose HPV vaccine at day one, followed by another a month later, and finally on the sixth month. The younger girls take it at day one, and then later at the sixth month. The HPV vaccine program rollout has, however, seen a low uptick of the second HPV dose. When you get only one dose, it means that then... You don't have to go back to be given another vaccine. And the people who are giving out the vaccinations, they don't need to look for the people they had vaccinated and ask them, come back and get another dose. Yeah, so it's in terms of cost, it will reduce the cost. And the pain of cervical cancer is that when you enter that room, the smell hits you from the distance. Because cervical cancer makes you bleed heavily. You get discharged because it's a wound that's fungating that has mucus. And they bleed a lot and it's immense pain. Cervical cancer caused by HPV, a common sexually transmitted infection, still remains a highly stigmatized disease, but is preventable and also curable if caught early and treated. As the research scientists indicate, the trial brings new energy to the elimination of cervical cancer, as well as great hope to the women living in countries like Kenya, which still bear a high burden of the disease. Raquel Mwigai, Citizen TV, at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Nairobi.